What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I want to talk about the supply drops that are going to be in Black Ops 3, and it might not be exactly what you think when you see supply drops. I'll talk about that a little bit in this video, as well as the mod and mapping tools that are going to be available for the PC version of Black Ops 3. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so just in case you're kind of living under a rock and you don't really follow Call of Duty news that closely, uh, this past weekend, it was a few days ago this was actually uh, released, it's just uh, didn't really fit with my video schedule, so that's why you're only seeing it now and you weren't seeing it a couple days ago from me. But lots of the other big YouTubers, I think, already talked about this. Uh, basically, it was found in one of the leaks that there are going to be some form of supply drops in Black Ops 3. Now, before you panic, it doesn't look like it's going to affect any stats whatsoever in the game. It's going to be 100% cosmetic. So the taunts and gestures, it looks like there's going to be taunts and gestures that you have to unlock through these supply drops. And there's going to be possibly attachment variants is another thing that we saw or that has kind of been referred to and leaked at. Uh, where it, I think it's the same attachment. It has the exact same statistical effect. It might just look different on your gun and make your gun look cooler. I'm hoping that's the case anyways. And I'm totally fine with these supply drops. As long as these drops are purely cosmetic, I have no problem whatsoever with supply drops. It doesn't look like variants are going to be returning, like gun variants are going to be returning. And Bonhar kind of hinted at the fact that uh, there will be no stat changers in this game as far as like random loot. He didn't really like come out and say that directly, but he kind of mentioned that and hinted at that because... Uh, these supply drops officially haven't been announced, it was it was more so just from a leak, uh, but it is definitely in the game, and I think uh, they will end up monetizing these as well. A lot of people have been asking me, do you think they'll end up monetizing these? Probably yes, because it was very successful for Activision for in, uh, in Advanced Warfare. As much as it turned a lot of people away and a lot of people hated the system, the amount of extra money that the supply drops and the, or the advanced supply drops earned for Activision is just ridiculous. Like, I'm sure it almost doubled their revenue for the game because there's lots of people that spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on these advanced supply drops, whereas normally from a, a consumer, all they really get is I think like $110 if they buy the game and the season pass. So I think they will end up monetizing this in the future and I'm totally fine with that as long as it may remains 100% cosmetic. Next up, just recently they announced that they are going to have mod and mapping tools coming for Black Ops 3 for the PC versions in 2016. So it's not going to come like with the launch of the game, but sometime next year they're, they're saying at least they're going to be adding these uh, mapping and modding tools for PC. So what does this mean for PC guys? Well, this means they'll be able to create their own custom maps or maybe they'll be able to import maps uh, from other games or something or they, they'd probably have to do some conversions and stuff, but... I think that's really cool. People are going to be able to to make little changes to maps so that you'll see like maybe uh, Christmas themed maps or like whatever. I've seen I've seen lots of modded uh, Call of Duty 4 maps in the past where they take the same map and then they, they make it look completely different. And I think that's really cool for the PC guys. Uh, they can also have brand new, completely unique maps that are completely uh, user made, which is really, really awesome. And I'm, I'm definitely excited for the PC guys there. And this is kind of making me think I want to buy the PC version once that eventually is revealed. I'm not going to buy the PC version on launch or anything, but down the road, once they have these mapping tools, I think that would be a really cool way to, to refresh the game for me uh, once it starts getting a little bit stale on console. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited for this. Also, they've mentioned that they're going to allow unranked servers. This is probably also not going to be coming until 2016. Uh, but they're going to have like custom hosted servers so you can host your own servers and you can mod it in any way that you want. You can have like whatever settings you want on these servers, but they are going to be unranked. So you shouldn't be able to exploit that and hit like max prestige with one kill or something ridiculous like that. It all appears to be unranked and there's going to be a server browser for this as well, which is amazing for the PC guys. Because I was thinking back, you might have seen me tweet this uh, yes or a couple days ago. La this time last year, Sledgehammer Games either wouldn't or couldn't, uh, under contract, talk about the PC version, like, at all. They basically released the minimum specs, and that was it. They, they would refuse to even acknowledge any questions related to the PC version, which was really frustrating for the PC guys, and I definitely feel for you guys when that happened. 
And now we're seeing Treyarch already announcing something so big as mod tools and, and mapping tools for Black Ops 3. So I think it's going to be a very good year for you PC guys. As long as they stay on top of, of everything else aside from the mod and mapping tools like uh, uh, keeping up with updates and, and dealing with bugs and stuff that are specific to the PC. I think it's going to be a great year for you PC guys for Black Ops 3. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts on the supply drop system is. Like, are you okay with it being 100% cosmetic? Are you okay with them monetizing it? Or are you still strongly against it? I'd really like to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. One last thing I want to mention in this video that's completely unrelated to everything I've been talking about so far is Control Freaks just released this brand new Juggernaut Control Freak and I think it looks really cool. Like normally I don't like announce every single new Control Freak product launch, but this one really caught my eye and I thought it looked really good. This is not a sponsored video in any way. They did not ask me to mention this or make this video. I just thought I'd point it out for you hardcore zombie fans that it just in case you haven't seen these yet, check these out. They look really cool. I'm going to be ordering a set myself. This is a limited time offer, it looks like, so this is kind of going to be more like a collector's edition, so that's why I'm ordering it. I don't think I'm actually going to use these because I'm really happy with the control freaks I have, but just as like a collector's edition, I'm definitely going to be ordering a set, and I wanted to give you guys that same heads up. And that's why I waited to the end of the video as well, because I knew some people would get annoyed if I tack this on to the beginning of the video. So again, this isn't a sponsored video, but if you guys want to check those out, you can use my code EXCLUSIVE for 10% off. I will leave a link down below if you do want to go and check those out. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.